so it is Sunday, April 14th, 2019. It's the last day of the Chattanooga Film Festival. Um, so yeah, I think yesterday where I left off at was <laughs> I was getting ready to go meet up with um, my friend Laura. Uh, she was driving up from Georgia with her husband and their baby to come meet me. And um, so we went out to lunch at a place called Sofa King Juicy Burger. <laughs> and it was actually really, really good. Like I almost considered buying another burger to bring back with me to the hotel to warm up later <laughs> you know like one of like today or tomorrow um <laughs> but anyway i didn't <laughs> uh but it was really good and i got a madagascar vanilla shake which i've taken a few sips of um when they first give it to you it's it, it's it's they're like really thick like ice cream and they have a spoon in it instead of a straw they don't even give you a straw for it like they just hand it to you with the spoon um, so I put it in the fridge and I let it melt <laughs> overnight, which, I mean, in some ways it doesn't taste as good, but, um, it'll be quicker to drink once I actually get to, I get around to drinking more of it. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we did that and then we stopped at a pharmacy so I could get a bottle of water and a toothbrush, since my toothbrush fell in the sink yesterday. <laughs> um, and then, so she dropped me off at the hotel and I was feeling a little bit tired, but like, you know, I also wanted to go out, but yet I didn't have any plans, like, there wasn't anything in the afternoon that I was, like, dying to see. Um, so I talked to a friend of mine, uh, my friend Heather that lives in Texas, I think, um, and so she was doing alright, and, uh, then I went and met up with, luckily, my, my, <laughs> my friend that invited me to this whole festival, she was at the, um, at the theater, so went and met up with her and we watched a movie called Vice Squad and that was really good. Like that was that was way more my type of movie than um than that Crispin Glover movie. I think the the movie that I watched two nights ago was called Everything is Fine. Um anyway, so yeah, the movie we watched yesterday was Vice Squad. And then a group of us went out to uh to dinner and it felt way earlier than it actually was. <laughs> um like, I guess around this time, it must have been, like, oh, I don't know, 6.30, 7 o'clock, something like that. And then we got back to the, um, she and I went back to the theater, and she found some of her friends to talk to, and, um, I talked more to one of the girls, um, she introduced me to earlier in the day. Um, I don't even know what this lady's name was, <laughs> but she was really nice. <laughs> um, and then, so yeah, so I just hung around there for a little bit talking, and then, um, I think everybody was planning on going to, uh, um, well, I, initially I was planning on watching the Dead Center, and then I was like, well, you know, I got an early day today, so I decided not to, but, I mean, the other plan was to possibly go to a party on a boat, <laughs> which, um, doesn't really sound like my idea of fun, <laughs> uh, you know, um, but anyway, so, decided to skip that, it was already about 9.30, and, um, so I requested a lift, and the stupid Lyft driver, you know, made the excuse that she said she couldn't pull into the horseshoe driveway because there were cars blocking the way. Well, there were a few cars that were lined up on one side. Like, it's, they have two lanes where you can drive through. And there were a couple cars that were lined up. But, like, they weren't, you know, they weren't blocking the way. Like, it wasn't, it, it was definitely not filled with, you know, with cars. So that was a really lame excuse. And I tried telling her, you know, I'm visually impaired and I'm night blindness and I can't, you know, I can only see 10 feet. She's gonna definitely get a negative rating from me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I got back to the hotel and uh, went to sleep and woke up around six o'clock and washed my hair. So I'm getting ready to go get some breakfast now. So it is 10 minutes after nine o'clock. Let me put down my purse. Um, actually, I still need to find that other hotel key card, because I don't know where it is at the moment. But anyway, um, it has been a busy day. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Oh, I guess the queen, yeah, I guess the cleaning lady came and cleaned up some stuff, but she left all the lights on for some reason. Um, oh, the bed's made, that's nice. Um, anyway, so, so yeah, the cleaning lady came, and, um, I went to the festival, and, um, 
saw, the first thing I saw was the Secrets of Poltergeist 3 uh, lecture, which ended up being, it, it was supposed to be two hours, but it ended up being three hours, which I was totally fine with. Um, you know, I liked seeing the, uh, the storyboards and the script and, um, hearing how they did the different effects. Like, he went, um, the director went through each, um, scene that had effects in it to tell us how he did it. So that was really cool. And then I went and watched a movie called Body at Brighton Rock, which, um, was not, <laughs> I, I was not the audience for that movie. It kind of like, it kind of reminded me of like the Hunger Games. <laughs> so it wasn't really my type of movie. Um, and then, let's see, what did I do? Oh, I went to Cracker Barrel and I actually got a, um, a grilled chicken salad from there. I didn't want to eat too, too much and be too full. And then I went back to the festival <laughs> and um, I watched the movie, um, I Trapped the Devil which was different than I thought it was going to be, you know, different than I imagined it to be. Um, it was good, but, um, uh, it seemed like it was more of like a, you know, more of like a psychological horror to me anyway than, uh, than, you know, I mean, there wasn't like a lot of violence and gore and stuff like that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I finished off the festival with that and actually at the very beginning, I was worried that I had walked into the wrong movie because they ended up showing a, a short, which I didn't realize they were showing a short film before this movie. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I, yeah, after the short film was gone, I was still kind of sitting there thinking, well, you know, I was wondering if I should leave or not because I, you know, had been wondering if I'd walked into the wrong one. <laughs> but um, everything turned out okay. It is 8.38 on uh, Monday. Um... February 15th, tax day, and, uh, yeah, I'm leaving in a little while to go, um, to go home. <laughs> I mean, I'll be happy once I get home, but it's also sad, you know, that the film festival has ended and everything. Um, I'm wearing my Chattanooga Film Fest t-shirt, and, uh, I might come back here next year. Yeah, I'm pretty much packed, and I'm gonna go ahead to the airport. Alright guys, it is 3.02 in the afternoon and I have airplane hair. Um, <laughs> I actually, um, the first flight was delayed probably by about um, an hour, I suppose. Uh, but luckily they did have a, a, a place nearby that had like smoothies and burgers and stuff like that. So um, I got a berry smoothie, mixed berry smoothie, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then when I got to Atlanta... I actually, <laughs> actually navigated the, uh, the shuttle system to get to the correct terminal on my own. Um, I think I started off on terminal D, so I caught the shuttle and it went to E and the next stop was F. So I was like, well that doesn't sound like it's going in the right direction. So let me get off the train, off the shuttle, and you know, so I went ahead and looked on the other side of the platform and the, that shuttle was heading toward um, D, C, B, and A. So, so yeah, I was going the wrong way, but um, figured it out fairly quickly, and the signs over there are fairly big, as are the, um, the gate numbers um, along in the hallway. So, uh, yeah, just barely, just barely made it there. I, di I didn't even get a chance to go to the restroom or anything, but I, hey, I, I made it to my gate by myself. <laughs> um, and so now I'm home, I'm going to drink some coffee, and maybe I'll catch up on a podcast or something. So... This is the end of the vlog, and I hope y'all enjoyed watching it, and um, I'll see y'all later. Bye.